today's treadmill treats. Today I want to talk to you about love, how love and compassion can conquer anything. So this past weekend I went to Tampa to a girlfriend's wedding and as a couple they had to overcome so many obstacles, you know, from you know bad marriages to the fact that both of their families didn't like the other person because she's white and he's black and so both families objected for, you know, them being together. And it really got me thinking about what they had to overcome to be together, you know, to get to this day, to be married, and how love really does conquer all. You know, I truly believe that. If we could just be more loving and compassionate, you know, we could overcome hate and racism and all of the stuff that's going on in this world today. If people would just be more open to loving people, you know, loving people who they are in their souls and not the color or their religion or their sexual orientation, just to be able to know and love somebody, you know, for who they are. Um, you know, people would change their views if they had an interracial couple that were their friends and they could see how much they had to go through to be together, you know, what that true love really means. Or... You know, how many times I've seen my gay friends back in, the, especially in the AIDS epidemic, where they stayed with them and held their hands until their dying breath. I mean, this is true love. No, true love doesn't, it's not about color or religion or sexual preference. It's about two souls that love each other until your dying breath. And if you could be around that and see that, that would really change your point of view about love, you know, and about being open-minded to different types of love. I mean, who are we to judge? Why, why do we think that we have to point the finger because it's not normal? It's not what society is expected. You know, that, that doesn't matter. It matters about being compassionate about somebody else's wishes and, and just being you know, okay that somebody is different than you are. Why is that so freaking hard? I don't get it. You know, I was happy to be there to see them so happy to get married and to share their lives together. And that to me was the most moving thing ever that they just love each other despite everything, despite the obstacles and the people hating on them and, you know, comments from their friends and family and stuff they had to overcome, they still love each other. And that, to me, conquers all. Obviously, it did, right? So my message today is that we all need a little bit more love and compassion in the world today, especially today, especially when people you know, feel so much hatred and the world is so divided. You know, we just need to open up our minds and our hearts and say, you know, it's okay that you're different. I still love you. You know, it's okay we have different opinions on politics or religion, but I still love you. That's what the world needs more of. We need more love and compassion. And so I hope that maybe this will give you a glimmer into another world, a world that I know with different kinds of people and different kinds of love. And that all of it is amazing and it's wonderful. And it does conquer all if you open your heart and your mind and you're okay with it. So that's my message for today. Let's all have some more love and compassion in this world. Thanks so much. Check me out on all the social media treadmill treats.